What is going on, everybody? I am just walking out of the theater from watching Dune Part 2. I know the question you're all asking, every single one of you. Did I get the popcorn bucket? The answer is yes. Obviously, I got the popcorn bucket. There was never really a question about that. But the real thing you want to know, how is the movie? Just walked out of the theaters. I think the credits are still rolling. And... Uh, the entire time, I was like wrapped, I was paying attention like the entire time to this movie. My hair is a mess, I don't know what the heck's going on. It doesn't really matter. I think it's an incredible cinematic achievement. Nearly every shot of this movie looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I will say that from the perspective, if you're somebody that's heavy into the lore, like wants every single thing to be laid out, I think they did a lot. There's a couple things they changed. I think there's gonna be some people that have problems with a few things they changed overall. I think the reception for this thing is gonna be incredible. If you like the first Dune, you're gonna love this one, I think, for the most part. You know, 95% of people, if you love the first one, you're gonna absolutely love the second one. Could have used it to be a little longer, not gonna lie. Uh, it was almost three hours long. Felt like it could have used another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I was on the edge of my seat basically the entire time, focused on everything that was happening. It is not an easy watch, and neither was the first one, but it, the book is not an easy read. You know, it's something where you're constantly having to pay attention to what's going on, the names of these people, exactly what their motivations are. And for me, this movie, I'm not gonna say it's like perfect or anything, but this movie um, absolutely met my expectations for what I had. Um, I think virtually all of the acting was incredible. The score was awesome. There's a couple times sound mixing wise, and I don't know if it's because I was an IMAX, I don't know if it's because it was like, rumbling a lot I'm not sure why but overall there's a couple times where I couldn't quite hear some of the dialogue compared to some of the sound and music and effects and things like that I th it could just be because I was an IMAX I've had that problem before in IMAX so who knows it's one thing I'll put out there um, again not gonna put any spoilers out there but Anya Taylor-Joy makes an appearance of an interesting character in this so if you are familiar with the source material um, you'll probably be surprised, but it's a really, really brief appearance by her. And Shawnee's character, I think that when you when you get to the end of the movie, I think they overdid a little bit with Shawnee, with Zendaya's character of Shawnee. Overall, um, I think the movie's really fucking good. I'm excited to see it again at some point within the next couple weeks. I'll probably do a rewatch. Probably not in IMAX this time. I was able to watch it in IMAX. You know, this is early. This is Sunday, so... Don't want to give any spoilers out there for anybody. Obviously, the book's been out there since like the 60s. So if you actually want to care about the story, and if you probably would have read it at some point by now. But for me, straight out of the theater, um, I'm not gonna it's not one of the one of the best movies of all time, but I do think it's a massive cinematic achievement. I think the thing is absolutely beautiful. I think it's well acted. I think Austin Butler nailed it. Um, I, I think Austin Butler absolutely nailed his role as well. So overall highly recommend Dune Part 2. It's not gonna be for everybody. Again, um, it's not some like easy to sit down and consume thing. Like you gotta really pay attention to what's going on. But if you like the first one, I think you're really gonna love Dune Part 2. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below and I'll talk to you later.